Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a pellet feeder and how to fish it. I use this method and this tackle on commercial carp waters for small to medium carp that is anything under 15 pound the pellet feeder is a container that's weighted on its base and nearly always sits on a lake bed the right way up it's attached to the line so it's running the carp won't feel any of the weight of the feeder and any response of it of the carp taking the bait will register on the rod tip which in this case is a quiver tip So let's look at the parts of the rig. Pellet feeder, they come in a multitude of sizes from light to heavy. They're invariably tubular with an opening for you to fill with pellets. The weight is permanently attached to the feeder so there's no issue about weighting it or finding the weight, it's all always attached. The theory of the pillar feeder is that the carp need to approach it from this direction and that's where your bait will be. So we're trying to make the bait the most attractive part of the rig. The hook length is quite short and it can be bought ready made or you can hand tie them yourself. This is a hand tied hair rig. with a spring on the hair I used simple punched spam punch a piece of spam thread it on the spring fill the feeder with pellets and you're ready to go So the hook length is attached to the main line loop to loop and the distance between the hook length and the pillar feeder is adjusted by a ledger stop. The sole purpose of this piece of tackle is to stop the pellet feeder going all the way down to the hook. That's all it does. Some would say you need to bury the hook and bait within the pellet feeder but I think it's just another complication. So keeping it simple, that's how I would present my bait.
What do we fill it with? Well, we fill it with micro pellets. Tiny pellets. Here's some I made earlier. These are pellets. All I've done is poured water on and then poured it straight off. The pellets absorb enough water to make them stay within the pellet feeder during a cast. And you can cast quite a long way, confident in the knowledge that the pellets will stay within the feeder all the way to the lake bed so let's just so we would scoop the pellets up push them down if you would like and lo and behold stayed within the feeder in fact they're taking some getting out to show you again so scoop it up press down with your thumb and you've got a feeder full of protein rich pellets ready to go out in the lake when the water is in and around the feeder you'll find these pellets expand and come out of the feeder and when you retrieve it it'll come back empty Let's have a look again, a last look at the effect of the pellet feeder on a lake bed. So we have the rod set in a rod rest, the main line down to the feeder, the hook length attached with a loop to loop. A hair rig on the end of the hook length and a way of attaching your chosen bait in this instance it's a stay put hair rigger for punched spam bacon grill also works Go for the good quality ones, there's less fat in them, more protein, and the fish like them. As the fish take the hook, your rod tip is going to indicate a take, and the feeder isn't going to be felt until the carp has took quite a considerable amount. of line
the ticks using a pellet feeder can be quite savage so there's no need to strike at little knocks I would encourage you to even sit on your hands and wait for the tip to wrap around so that's the pellet feeder hope you enjoyed watching it please subscribe for more of these videos I'll see you soon. Bye.